Welcome. I welcome you all to this introductory video of the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar and this is the second course. In the first course we studied theory of compounding as propounded in Paninian grammar. We also studied various features of Samasa. We also studied the derivation process of Samasa in which we highlighted on the input in the form of a sentence and output in the form of a pratipadika which becomes an input to the sentence. In the first course, we focused on the Tatpurusha Samasa. In this course, we shall study the remaining three important types of Samasas in Sanskrit, namely Avyayi Bhava, Bahuvrihi, and Dvandva, Pratidinam, Anurupam, Yathashakti. These are the examples of the Avyayi Bhava Samasa. Gajanana, Lambodara, Ekadanta are the examples of Bahuvrihi Samasa and Ramalakshmanau as well as Bhimarjunau. These are the examples of Dvandva Samasa. In this course, we shall study these three compounds in detail. We will revisit the theoretical background of Samasa. We will revisit the theory of Karaka, the process of speech production in general and then we will focus on these three types of compounds. These three types of compounds are prevalent in many modern Indian languages as well as other languages across the globe. The theoretical background provided by Paninian grammar developed by the Paninian grammatical tradition to explain the process of compounding with respect to these three compounds will also provide an insight to explain compounds in other languages. We will study the derivation process in which the Alaukika Vigraha as well as Laukika Vigraha will be studied. We will study the concept of Nitya Samasa. We will also take into account 
the output generated by these three compounds avyayi bhav bahuvrihi and dvandva we will also deal with the samasanta suffixes stated in the paninian grammar which are added at the end of these samasas we shall also pay attention to the swara sutras pertaining to these three types of samasas there will be also a study of various other features like the gender of the samasa the purva pad karya namely the pumvad bhav and also the uttara pad karya these were mentioned in the first course and we shall revisit these phenomena in this course and then explain them with a focus on these three types of samasas i hope the study of these samasas will provide an insight into the process of compounding as well as the theory of compounding this second course will complete the treatment of samasas given in paninian grammar in a brief manner we hope that this course will benefit you all thank you very much